Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in diverse places. Verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. I'm going to start off. I give it all praise, honor, and glory. Ko holo la Yahweh, ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, ba Hashem, rachav of the Then we'll honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, told me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and sincerity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Aqua, I think the Yah came out there listening and learning. Lord willing to edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, looking like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shah, to do another lesson. Um, this one. I got a, 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 a news alert from RT News, and I was going to just bring out this article because at the end of the day, like brothers keep saying, you know, no matter if this was man-made, you know, a weapon, it's all, we realize that the Lord controls all things. It tells you enough scriptures in the Bible, um, like in the book of Job, it tells you that, um, well, in the book of Proverbs, it tells you, um, you know, um, the Most High basically orders man's steps, so how can man know? His own way. Roughly paraphrasing, I might be mixing them up, but you know, it's enough scriptures that tell you how. Well, like as the scripture tell you, the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of man and give it to whomever He will. So the Lord is the Lord of hosts, meaning the Lord of armies. But He has many armies. Like I was listening to the brother, you know, this, these pestilences are armies. You know what I mean? These um, earthquakes and these um, storms are armies. You know what I mean? Men are could be made of men of armies. He's the Lord of the over the angels, the messengers, you know, he, you know, he's gonna be the Lord over these missiles when they get shot over here and destroy this wicked ass place. So my point being, um, this article goes into like I've been seeing different speak, different people speak about it because it's so fucking hilarious to me. You know, everybody in America is like under quarantine, but these faggot ass entertainers is up there literally, like, you know. But you can literally see they getting restless too. You know what I mean, like. People, like, especially most privileged people that ain't never been locked up, like, majority of the brothers, I ain't gonna say majority of the brothers, because it's brothers that ain't been in jail and incarcerated. Everybody had that light. It's lucky they they lot. But a lot of brothers in the camps, from my opinion, what, 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 I, what I tend to know, put it like this, I ain't gonna say a lot, I'm gonna say some brothers, me included, have been locked up. So sitting down ain't really a stretcher, a, a, a chore to us, you know what I mean? When you've had your free, my, my brother, he in the world, two-third nigga, but yet still, the Lord can use, have wisdom coming out, come out of anybody's mouth. And he said he believed that men should go through two different experiences. He said they should lose their freedom so they can understand, or being locked up because you lose your freedom, then you understand how precious it is, and to deal with a woman when she's pregnant, and you literally see, and those are two curses that's on us, you know what I mean, so it's just deep. My point being, you can literally see the restlessness of these people, all these entertainers, even though they're telling you, yeah, you should worry about others, and so don't, if you know you're feeling sick, stay in the house, or just stay in the house, you know, it's easy for them to say it when, you know, they got things in the society, you know what I mean, they got money, that, you know what I mean, like, it, it's a total different thing. With a person that, like, whole livelihood is being destroyed in their face, that's the judgment of the Lord, but at the same time, like, and the Lord gonna put a spirit on them, like, we was just talking about it yesterday, like, you never know, you take a dude, you ever seen that movie Fall or Die with uh, Michael Douglas, you know, they do a law by a citizen his whole life, and he snap, and just go on a killing rampage, that's where you get the movie Rampage from, but, uh, like I say, if all and die was more of a comical. It was, it was it was a drama, but you know it was it was comedy moments in it, comical moments in it. Rampage was really like a just a a a, 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 a documentary of the mind of Esau. But it's lucky because I don't mean to digress. Point being, this uh, director of health or something that Trump supposed to has has been talking to different people. You know um, that one guy that got the Daily Show, the little I think he an Edomite though, because I think his father is. Uh, uh, Edomite, 
but he looked like he, um, Jake, he's a comedian, but he has a show on Comedy Central. I can't think of his name. Long story short, he's been talking to this guy, and he made a statement, and you know, because now America's considered the epicenter of the virus. You know what I mean? And that's what's justifying them putting drones in the sky and robots on the ground and drones that could run your temperature from the sky and, you know, immobilizing a million troops. And nobody's even concerned about that. Like, whenever you, listen, you know me, countries in history have did this same exact thing where they took the military and basically, and what do you think America's becoming right now? When has America said we're going to just give everybody some money? Go look into the universal income. To, um, it, I think it's the universal income, meaning they want to give everybody some money. So once they do that, this becomes a socialist country. You get that? People don't even know these words, though, but what the fuck think that? So meaning that, you know, you don't have any private property or anything. Everything is issued to you from the government. Yeah, people are going to be set for a rude awakening. But nonetheless, um, I'm going to jump back to... Um, well, I'm going to get a scripture. I'm going to start with 2nd Ezra. Because this guy is saying that basically, um, you know, this is going to be horrendous. You know, it's going to be millions. Because we got a population of roughly, what, 300 to 400 million. He say, so when I sit up there and I say it's a drop in the bucket compared to um, the number of deaths. You know, if you got 7 billion people on the planet, yeah, that's a lot of people dead. But what they're not telling you is everybody's not dying from corona. Some of those people were elderly. Anybody that's, that's just like a child. If a child get it, of course, a child's immune system has not been built up. And an elderly person's immune system is broken down. So that's why elderly people, you know what I mean, like are more subject to, like, when they get as cold or they get sick, they really go through it because, you know, it's harder for their body to fight that shit up. But, you know, you got people getting diagnosed with this shit that don't got it. Like um, the later Lisa Cabrera, she did um, a video about it. She talking about... People testing positive, they're testing negative, they didn't test positive again. That don't even sound like that's a for sure system. Like this shit, I mean, like I say, at the end of the day, I know it's something that's supposed to sprang up unawares, but like I say, it really just shows you the, the like how strong these people and trust in America. It really shows you the weakness of this plug in place. Because like I say, for you to be out and you don't have ventilators, you ain't this is supposed to be the freest, richest country in the world, but you ain't got enough of a product that people need. And then to show you the hypocrisy and the bullshit of it, like I said, the guy, the governor of New York Como, he literally talking about, oh yeah, we asked um, Trump administration for a certain amount of ventilators. Trump is a devil, but he like, I sent this man a ventilator. What the fuck are you talking about? It come out, Como had to actually come. You know how embarrassing that is? Oh, yeah, we got the ventilators, but those were such and such. Like, what the fuck? So you literally just lying to the people, you know what I mean? And pe that, man, these people going to look dumb as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a nigga still thinking he getting the check. Let me ask you this. If you, if, if everybody ever can supposed to get a check because you believe it because this is what these people are saying, when they tell you, never trust thine enemy. Motherfuckers forget how they got over here, you know what I mean? Like, just because they're giving you housing don't mean that they... Like, you know, know somebody get paid off of them giving you housing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you got to take the time to think about this. At the end of the day, they about to do a, a big welfare role for all the corporations. And motherfuckers that actually is taking... That's t getting all the taxes, taking out their shit to pay for this shit, ain't really going to benefit from it. If every American going to get a, a, a check... How are you going to get the, the, you got homelessness at a whole time high right now. How are they going to get these homeless people they checks? Well, they got to come to, a, but everything shut down. So how are they going to get their check? Take the time to think about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all people just don't get this shit. Liquor stores are considered essential? A liquor store ain't an essential business. It's just they know to keep motherfuckers lightweight appeased. We got to get these motherfuckers. That's what the fuck it is. A, 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 a Pizza Hut is not a central store? Like, the fuck? Take the time to, like, just use some logic with this shit. But, Salakia, I'm digressing. Um, I want to bring out 2nd Ezra's chapter 15 because from the article, it saved millions of people going to die. And I can see that because it tells you in Scripture that there's going to be pestilences and plagues. You go to the book of Psalms, chapter 91, it tells you the pestilence by darkness. And that, that meaning a uh, pestilence you can't see. You can't see this COVID-19. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's a hoax or not. I don't know if it's man-made or not. I know it's a patent on it, and I know this shit just sprung out of nowhere. And I know the place that it's supposed to have the biggest, like the epicenter of where it first started at, they told my opening their borders back. So it's making you wonder, like, is this shit... You got to remember, this New World Order thing is not just one country or the white man or so-called white man or, you know what I mean? Like, that's why you got all countries around the earth right now literally policing their countries. You get what I'm saying? You can't just, your rights just been taken away from you. Don't you get that? But you really never had no rights in the beginning. But like I said, like literally, come on. They talking about if you coming from New York to go through other cities and states, they motherfucking got a whole little checkpoint. You got to, like you in Nazi Germany or some shit. <laughs> and you people go learn you ain't free today. Uh, this is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 8. And this is the reason why he's going to, um, Send the plagues to Egypt. We're not talking about, you know, Egypt of the past or modern day Egypt. You know, I was watching um, The Matrix yesterday and they showed that scene when um, Neo went to meet um, Trinity to talk about Morpheus and whatnot. And it was the Edomite chick. She had the chain thing on and it's like it was a whole bunch of like bracelets around her neck. That's an Egyptian um, like fashion type thing. You know, it's just a, a lot of coincidences that America has with Egypt. And that's why we call this place Egypt. But it's, it's not just Egypt. It's, it's a whole bunch of ancient cultures, philosophies. You know what I'm saying? Mixed into one. That's why it's called Babylon. You know what I mean? Because you got to remember that ancient Babylon was never destroyed. If you go look up and actually look up something, you'll find out that ancient Babylon is where Iraq is today. So, therefore, in the book of Revelations, when it talks about Babylon being destroyed, if Babylon or is... I mean, because you got to remember, what they did was they changed the name of certain places. People sitting up there calling themselves African Americans, but did you know that the, the continent of Africa is named after a, a, a so-called white man named Leo Scipius Africanus? History and true fucking fact. You go look, you got the, 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 a, a phone in your hand that can look up anything, and, and what I just said, you can go look up and find out that it's true. But yet still, you name yourself after a fucking white man. Because they said you were African American. The term African American wasn't even popularized until fucking Jesse Jackson got into office. You was called a Negro. Then Jesse Jackson was running for whatever the fuck he was running. I think he was like the first black man to try and run for presidency. And that's when you got that term African American. But these people are so fucking stupid, they don't even know the first black man was the, a president before George Washington. <laughs> I ain't gonna give you that one though. Go look that up. Or so-called black man. But Salaki, I'm bouncing everywhere. The reason why this place is, is going to get um, the plagues and the pestilence and it's going to get touched the way it's going to get touched is because it was prophesied in the scriptures for what the Most High, uh, for what Esau did to the Most High's jewels or his children and for just being a wicked-ass place. I mean, this is the only place on the earth that I tell you. And then take the time to think about it. Based on their philosophies, their doctrine, and their wine, they actually can corrupt other places. You know what I mean? That's why China got hit so hard with it. Like, when you go into China, their ancient country, um, customs, they don't no longer, um, they no longer, like, really um, associate with. You know, I remember when we went to Florida when I was homeless, and my demon used to hold a sign for this nail salon, and she went back to tell me how the, the guy, I mean, they, they was they was goops, they was mobites, and she was saying how the woman was disrespecting him. And I'm like, that's hard to believe because of the fact that they women are usually in order. But then I had to go back and retract and think about it. I'm like, well, then, you got to remember, they in Babylon, though. You know what I mean? Like, that's why, like, for instance, a person that might have came over here with their traditional values, but then they had children here, and then they children, children. They get so indoctrinated in the culture of this place. That's why it's going to really be, like, really, like, people going to be fucked up when they really just snatch your freedom. But you don't really have freedom. You have the illusion of freedom. That's why the motherfuckers was getting shot with, like I said, beanbag guns and, and stun guns and beat up at Miami Beach. Because they think, no, we free. That's what this say, but the Constitution is not a void now. Don't you know that? It's a state of emergency. People don't know shit. <laughs> this is the reason why the most high about the judge this place. Second Ezra is 15 and 8. So lock you for, you know, the little rant. Second Ezra is 15 and 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, meaning the wickedness of this wicked ass place known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. 
Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me. This is a place where your people get shot down in the streets. And it's a judgment from the Lord. But nonetheless, you know, sometimes them people ain't did nothing. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you talking about, we thought they was reaching for something. You know, I remember um, the incident that happened, what was that, in 2000, uh, what was that, 2012, I believe? When you had the man and the woman, I can't remember their name, but they were really, people knew them. And basically, they got shot 108 times. I think that was mentioned, like, throughout the whole country. A man and a woman, like I said, and it was a high-speed chase. And basically, they ended up in East Cleveland, and they literally, two people, no gun, they shot this bitch up like off of something on a movie. <laughs> it says, uh, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And the souls of the just is the man of, of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shaddai, go out on the highways and byways and put up these videos. You know what I mean? We're the only ones that's complaining because you got two thirds that love this place. You got two thirds waiting on Trump to send them this fucking check, not knowing that everybody ain't getting a check. That's in the fucking bill. <laughs> you dummy. You know, on top of it, you, I, I watch niggas make Facebook videos and shit. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to like Trump. It tell you in the scriptures that a gift destroys the heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, so after all the wickedness these people done did, because this motherfucker gonna send you twelve hundred dollars. Oh, he better than Obama now. You just was all riding Obama's coattail. He the best nigga in the world. Well, he didn't do nothing for you. You know what I mean? Niggas got killed on Obama's watch. Yeah, people don't know nothing. They just go based on. That's why you argue with a man or a bitch about the scriptures because they basing it on their emotion. Like it tells you in scripture, no scripture is by your own private interpretation, you know. So basically, like, it, it's not like they'll, like, you got, I remember I told the person, they asked me when Christmas passed, they was like, um, did you buy your kids? Because they know I got kids. They like, buy your kids some Christmas gifts. I'm like, no. Nah. So they looking at me all stupid. Oh, well, you know, you try to get them gift, kids gift and you got money and why you, and I'm, so I went back an hour later and I, I gave him a scripture. I'm like, look up this scripture and this explain to you why I'm not going to buy my, or why I don't celebrate it. So he like, oh, okay, well, it don't matter. But you don't want to just made an opinion based off of because what you think is right. I mean, like I said, so because you think because you satisfy some kids fucking need that make it right. Like, do you know what they used to do with Christmas and what that even symbolized or anything? No. When y'all really figure out this place, you're going to be like, wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck. Like, man, seriously. Like, do you even know what Christmas symbolized, though? You know what I mean? Like, but whatever, man. Like, so, a point being, it tells you in scripture that you're not supposed to celebrate Christmas. You know what I'm saying? It don't literally say Christmas, but, you know, you read between the lines. What other holiday, because, you know, the scriptures talk about high holy days, and it's very funny. All the pagan shit is what's actually represented in this society. All the pagan holy days, they're opposite. I mean, Salakia, um, holidays, all the pagan holidays are opposite of the high holy days. It's high holy days in the scriptures, and literally nobody speaks on these. Nobody tries to um, practice them, except for, you know, GMS men, and, you know, you got other camps that try and practice them, you know what I mean? But my point being, but majority of those wicked ass pagan holidays are in there as well and that's what they celebrate you know what i mean so it's kind of it's, it, 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 that's showing you that this is not a, a a godly place you know what i mean and that proves to you when they when they break the law statutes commandments repeatedly yet and still don't think nothing wrong you know that also further proves how this is not a godly place um, it says and therefore and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So at the end of the day, the Lord is, it tells you that um, the vengeance is of the Lord, you know. So at the end of the day, like, he shall recompense. He's visiting this place now. You don't realize how much shit is going on. It's a lot. You know, you're distracted with the fact of, 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 of what? See, because you got to remember, these same people that's in power, that rule the world, they control the media. So, that, you know, they, they control what you see. You know, I was just listening to a, a guy, got a, a, a um, YouTube channel, he was going into magic. And at first I didn't think, you know, because most Jake don't know shit. You know, but when he really got to talking, dude know some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like sleight of hand or actual stage magic. They get a trick off because it's all sleight of hand. If I'm showing you what I want you to see, with the other hand, I'm doing some shit you don't see. And they're doing that on a worldwide scale. Did you know why everybody worried about this COVID-19 shit? At the end of the day, they done passed like so many different fucking laws just recently. 
A lot of them got to do with that 5G shit that they putting up everywhere that's actually detrimental to your health. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because at the end of the day, the whole system that they're trying to um, like basically incorporate and create is based off of this system. You know, drones patrolling the air and on the ground and, you know, smart cities with this RF, RFID technology that's co uh, connected to your um, Alexa, your, that little fucking Amazon thing. You know, all that is all incorporated in the smart city, you know, because it's all going to be incorporated to that 5G that 5G network, you know what I mean? That actually is detrimental to your, your body. If radiation, if if cell towers create radiation on a on a large scale, what do you think ones that's like 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 five feet within the, your living your living space, what do you think that's gonna do? It says, Behold, my, my people was fled as a flock to the slaughter, which they are, because you got a lot of, you know, the Lord's people that's actually into Babylon and Egypt, you know what I mean? They waiting for Trump to save them, you know what I mean? They rather, you know what I mean? That's why they go to church and they don't actually read this. It tell you in the scriptures that blessed is he that readeth, you know what I mean? But they don't read. They want to go to the fucking the church that's actually the pastor of faggot or he fucking everybody in the fucking congregation, which is all the way off, by the way, you know what I'm saying? Or sitting up there, you talking to another man's wife, talking about baking him a cake and shit like that, like, which is all the way off, by the way. You want this man to explain to you what the scriptures mean when, like I said, at the end of the day, like, like I said, that's off. You know what I mean? Like, it tells you in scripture that the, that the Most High is going to send a pastor or or, 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 or to um, interpret this thing for you, but when they're not interpreting it the, the correct way, then the, the I mean, you know, you got you got false pastors and prophets and whatnot. You know, it tells you in scripture that um, you'll know the Most High sent the prophet if the thing that he come to say come to pass. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, these same people, I know people that were sitting up there saying that basically you weren't gonna be able to move. That basically it's gonna be this way, the way that you're is now stuck in the fucking house. And then you got other states where they got the National Guard actually patrolling shit. They talking about in fucking Rhode Island, they about to start going door to door, knocking on your shit and checking to see if you a resident, if you from New York or whatever the fuck. That's something out of a movie. So I mean, like I say, at the end of the day. But you, I mean, I know a group of men, and, and, and the men that were leading the charge is the man of Great Millstone, you know what I mean? But you had other camps, I guess, you know, because, I mean, you know, they, they were saying that you Israelites and whatnot, but I know men of Great Millstone have been saying that it was going to be a day like today. These Christian pastors is, are, are not saying that. And they was getting paid from the government. And on top of it, to show you the spirit of the Lord is really about to be a famine of the word. One of the things that shut down through this fucking government, I mean, well, it's not a government shut down. What is it, a country? What I don't even know the name of this shit. But basically, with all this shit being shut down, one of the things shut down is the churches. You know what I mean? This, what's this dude, Kenneth Copeland, that be on the Prophecy Club or whatnot? He told this, his, his congregation, even though they're not working, you still send your tithes. <laughs> I was going to do a video of that. And then when you literally see him saying this shit, the nigga look just like a demon, though. Like, you can see like a demon on him. Like, he all, after you keep saying that, like, that nigga don't want you fucking up his meal ticket. What you mean? You. And the crazy part about it is people won't believe that, but it's all kind of scriptures that tell you about false prophets. The book of Jeremiah is one that lets you know about it's going to be false. When, when, I'm not trying to digress, but like at the end of the day, when you read the book of Jeremiah, it literally tells you you had Jeremiah trying to tell the city the righteous thing because the Lord wanted them to repent. But it was a group of false prophets and pastors that was up there talking about, no, the God ain't going to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Until the point where God open up the floods, and let the city be besieged and taken. So that's why it's literally in there, you know, a false prophet is what, when his words don't come to pass, but you'll know a man of the Lord was said when his words come to pass. So like here, it says, Behold, my people was led as a flock to the slaughter, which they being led now, because you got people not worried, not prepping, not, because at the end of the day, you could, you could try and prep all the kind of fucking food you want. You know what I mean? You could try and buy 20 fucking shotguns, all that shit. If you ain't coming back to the most high, your power, uh, I mean, with what's about to happen, oh my God, you don't, man, you don't even, oh, that's a waste. You know what I mean? Because look, you can go prep and buy 20 shotguns and build a bunker and you can fucking put food in 12 different places. You don't know when the shit go down, where the fuck you going to be at. 
You could be on your way to the grocery store to get some more food and get hit by a fucking car. Going, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, while you you putting confidence in, in, in carnal things, you know what I'm saying? It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt, which today America is the modern day Egypt. Because the word Egypt, you know, that's why it's important to go into word. Egypt means bondage or double straits. You know, and straits is like um like basically like 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 we had it bad here. I mean, even though those 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 um athletes that got a little something or or entertainers that got a little something at the end of the day with all their money and riches they still can't even speak their mind you know what i'm saying i watched mayweather sit up there and say the first jews or the original jews or the real jews was black next thing you know not only did roger mayweather die but fucking um his his baby mama died his first baby mama died you know just out the blue like two weeks later you know what i'm saying so Ain't nobody got the power to do that, you know, like a, a, a famous man like uh, Mike, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson had bodyguards. Only, only, only person that can get you touched like that is somebody above you, right? Like, that just so happened that the only man that get to him without no problem. And then this motherfucker go on oath talking about something. I didn't do it. I tell truth. <laughs> like Cat Williams said. I, you never trust a motherfucker can't say the word truth. He wasn't saying truth. He said, truth, truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like, the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Then come to find out this doctor was a mason and all that old shit. So, you know what I mean? You'd be surprised. Like I said, this world is not what you what you think it is. Uh, it says, verse 12, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Verse 13, they that steal the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting of hell and with a fearful constellation. 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. If you go look at the gun sales right now, you know what I mean? I got a guy that I know, he a shooting instructor. He said he tried to go buy some ammunition, just stock up on a couple boxes. He said they would only sell in one box. So they rationing out the bullets now. He Another guy said that she, he was like, he went to go do something. He went somewhere and literally... You see these, no, I think he said he went to the gun range or something. He was like, you know, the Edomite is in a truck on the back with the little Edomite kids with a banner saying, fuck you, some crazy shit. And he like, ah, shit. He like, nah, he got a, um, I think an open carry or concealed carry permit or something like that. So he like, let me get my shit because there's a whole bunch of them. And that's what's about to come to. Like, you about to really see, while you motherfuckers talking about let bygones be bygones, and you really about to see. This Edomite's attitude. I remember when they came up with that Mortal Kombat, that last Mortal Kombat, to show you how much this motherfucker literally hates you. Just because, I mean, this is a, a, a fucking video game. So, lucky, I think I said comic book. This, this is a video game. They literally got angry because the guy Jax is, like, um, ending on them. Because each player, if you beat the game, they have a different ending, um, basically, specifically for that character. Jax's ending was able to change the world, you know what I'm saying, to the point where instead of so-called blacks being on the bottom, they was on the top. Now, mind you, this is just somebody's opinion. Um, that means you can't even be free in your fucking mind. That's a shame. <laughs> they literally, it was a whole big deal. I'm talking about, they made a, I'm talking about controversy. People right there, cussing people out all over the comment boards, writing um, fucking... I forgot who made um, some, um, made Mortal Kombat. I, I want to say Capcom, but I don't think it's Capcom. Whoever made it, though, that writing them, the software developer, they like they was highly upset. So you about to see those two groups of people that's um, going to stand up and fight against one another. You know, you're going to have the other nations in there as well, but, you know, for the most part, because this all has to do with two nations. When you go back to uh, the story in Genesis about Esau and Jacob, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you had two nations that had enmity with one another all the way to this day. That's how you should be able to know who the two nations is. <laughs> you know, and then it's so literally like right in your face because it tells you Esau was a man of the ground, a pillar of the field. Slocky, I might be talking about um, Cain, but I, I, I know Esau was a cunning hunter. And the most cunning hunter right now 
on this planet is 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 Esau, is the so called white man. You know what I mean? This man literally goes to hunt for sport. He don't hunt for like to live or survive. He hunts to for the power he could kill something. You know what I mean? He hunt men. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. This dude literally, you got bounty the bounty hunters. Who you think first started that? You know what I mean? Like, on top of like set up traps and snares, it tells you in, in, in the Psalms, I believe that you know he sets up um, traps and snares. <laughs> you know. So like it says, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And you're going to see a day and time of that. You know, you got people um, not um, actually like adhering to um, the, the, because see what Trump did is he didn't shut down the actual country because he knows something bigger to it. You got to remember, he's a businessman. You shut down the country and the country, you know, the economy is going to be fucked all the way up. People don't even understand how money works. You know, they sit up there tomorrow, well, you could just print more money. You can't just print more money because what you don't know is the Federal Reserve is not an actual part of America. It's its own private fucking bank. So basically they agreed. Trump told them, yeah, we need the money, so go ahead and write it off. So they allowed the Treasury to print the money. But we supposed to still pay all that back. Just like with the, the $1,200, you got to pay that back. Did you know that? <laughs> So, you know, you got me and not following, like, the directives of, because basically it's the governors in, like, like, like Ohio, like, you, or Mike DeWine, he basically um, had a shelter-in-place order, and then the city of Cleveland, uh, Frank Jackson, did a um, shelter-in-place. So, you know what I mean? You got, so that's how you know, and then, like, they say that they're supposed to not enforce certain things, but it's up to their discretion to show you how the devil works. You know what I mean? Like, right now, a bitch could be selling some pussy or a nigga could be selling some dope. I know dope. Like, the real niggas gonna love, they loving this shit. Not realizing how the devil gonna play his hand. You know? Like, if you ever see that movie Blood In, Blood Out, you know, he made a deal with the dude to go get the Edomites. It, did, it was, it, it was, uh, Issachar and, uh, and, and Judah, you know, they made a deal to go, go after, um, Esau. And did after they got Esau, Issachar turned his back and had them go after Judah. You know, some real devil, like some demonotic shit. So he can rule all of it. You know what I mean? So that's the story for another time. But my point being, you know, that's what that devil going to do. You know, because now, like I said, he got people thinking, like, you ain't enforcing it. They're not enforcing it in other states. Like, they, they're they not enforcing it in Cleveland like they're enforcing it in other states. In California, if you driving around and you ain't got that permit showing, like, you got a central job, you getting fined and or going to jail, being detained. They letting give you a little leeway in Cleveland. But eventually, you know, he going to show his teeth. It says, um... For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And of course, their actions shall stand in their power. Stand in their power. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. And you're saying that now, like I told you. The state of Rhode Island is literally has a checkpoint. So literally, if you're trying to come in there and you're from another state, they literally making you self-quarantine if you're going to stay there. I think they letting you ride past, but you got to register nonetheless. Like, they, they got a checkpoint. You got to pull over. And it's not regular Rhode Island State Patrol or no shit. It's the National Guard. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. And this going into the mighty men, them gangbangers, them thugs, them killers, them gangsters. We gonna see, cause it tell you why well, you think you a gangster, or like how 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 Lil Wayne faggot is. I did like that when he did it though. He said, "You think you a goon, but I'm a goblin." You get what I'm saying? Like you think you saying some hard shit. It called the Most High the King of Terrors. People, who how many how many pastors told you that though? Verse nineteen: A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, and you and take the time to think about this. We talking about in the country that teaches you to actually like. Be the best you could be in Excel and dog eat dog world and all that shit. So when it comes time, and then they already promoting further because now they promoting the panic of the COVID-19 or the Corona shit. So you got people looking at, oh, he sneezed. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Now, uh, I forgot what city or state it was. They talking about um, the mayor said, if you see somebody breaking, you know, the, the shelter in place, to call on them. 
So basically having you as a snitch. But, you know, that's how it's always been. Like, if you know anything, most crimes are not solved by the, 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 the detectives. They're solved because somebody came forward and gave up some information because people snitch. Most crimes, if you ever watch the first 48, it ain't because a detective was just fucking, he did some fucking uh, Perry Mason type shit. No, it was literally one of the people that was in on the crime end up snitching on the other one to, to, to get less time or some shit. The weakness of people, you know what I mean? That's why it tell you in the Lord of the Ring, he said, men are weak. <laughs> you know what I mean? The elf dude told him, he said, well, we got to rely on men. He said, no, men are weak. And most men are. And you about to see how weak. But like the apostle, the elder apostle Tahar said, he said, um, good times make weak men. He said, and hard times make strong men. So we about to go into some hard times and that's why you got a lot of weak ass men now. That's why you got these women don't look at men. But then, it, it, you know, it's a it's a it's an order to it and it's a balance to it because you got a, a lot of women that want to be labeled women, but they ain't fucking women. I remember coming up and I used to be with like certain girls, and we was like probably like thirteen or fourteen, but it was certain older women be looking at them and this. I remember one cussed the broad out so bad. I'm like, damn, but I had no understanding of it at that time. The, them generation of them women is looking at y'all like y'all hoes and shit for being with four or five men. They not around like that no more. So yeah, it is a lot of weak ass men, but it's a lot of nasty ass women. They not even women. They they the, the whole see because I, I mean I'm gonna quit the label to it. Every just because you a female don't mean you know I put it male and female. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna say I mean because you ain't a man. A man ain't just because you can knock a nigga out or you can bust a nut or you got twelve kids. That don't make you no fucking man. And just because you can produce a child or you got some kids and, you know, your pussy leak or you suck, you know what I mean? That don't make you no fucking woman. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you know, Salaki, I, I digressed it. <laughs> but that's all through the spirit. It said, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And at the end of the day, the lack of bread is going to be I mean, you know, um, destroy their houses is going to be because, you know, like right now they're conditioning. If you ever owned any animals, this is like Esau is a master. You know, it tells you in the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 that he was wiser than Daniel. If you ever read any of the stories of Daniel, you know what I mean? Daniel was very wise. Daniel actually was able to like be a man of high authority, but he came into those kingdoms as a slave. But had like say so in a, a, in his captor's kingdom, so that's wisdom and that's a wise ass man. It tells you in scripture that Esau is wiser than they, and he has searched out iniquity in this. I mean, Esau knew no know. Take the time to listen to what I said. He actually got a network. He gonna be at a build where you know what I'm saying what. This network is going to power them drones that's going to be flying and those robots that's going to be and it's going to be. That's the whole point of this chip. And it's so, like, easy in your face to see, but, I mean, it also, it ain't meant for everybody to see it. You know, you got Bill Gates talking about this ID 2020 with this digital certificate. You got America just signed a stimulus bill with this digital dollar. And then you got this RFID chip. It don't take rocket science, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, you know what I'm saying? The lack of bread, they, they conditioning you to the fact that... Like Esau always running experiments. If you go look into the Willie Lynch letter, it literally show you... The whole things it literally he literally said if we apply my uh, my, 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 uh, my method to these people that they'll be so fucked up that it'll take a divine act of God to bring them out of it. Majority of the, like why you got these women that think they tough or tougher than a man because they was conditioned to be like that. You gotta remember they would take the strongest black man, so called black man, and basically be. You know, it's, it's kind of like how when the, the, the Indians would take an Edomite and take him and scalp his head right in front of you. That's a psychological reaction because you mind you, you can live through that, but do you know how much blood is going to come out of your, your scalp? You know what I mean? But to see, to watch that happen, you know, and that's why they took the strongest man because you, you rely on your strong men, you know what I mean? If you had a big brother that beat everybody up, yeah, you, you gonna be oh yeah, well you can't fuck, you gonna be proud of your big brother all that. So they took the biggest person and and literally broke him. 
Like, I mean, it's called uh, quartered him. Like, took the horses and, you know, ripped him apart. And then, you know what I'm saying, they would literally, like, just... And so that put an instinct in a mother, because a mother is a nurturer and loves her children. Literally, she start basically emasculating her son. And that's why you see that to this day. You know, now the Lord got a spirit on certain men, because I know men that's in the truth that grew up around a single mother. You know what I mean? And yet still, you know... They still, you know, they're not as emotional, you know what I mean? But you got, majority of men are emotional. They don't think logically, you know what I'm saying? They all react before they actually take the time to think about it, you know what I mean? When they, and all things, we coming into the time, you better be thinking logically, you know what I mean? Like, so with, with the lack of bread, like, not thinking logically would be, with lack of bread, you would think, well, fuck it. I, I heard a motherfucker tell me one time, before I starve, I'll eat my own shit. I say, huh? This is how retarded a motherfucker is. No, lie. but it was a woman too. Showing you how it tell you in the book of Job, I think it's 39, that the most high didn't give her no wisdom. He she lacks wisdom. That's why most women, I mean, you know what I'm saying, usually looking for a strong man. Women don't really want to make no decision. I mean, yeah, they do, but they don't, you know what I mean? If you up there handling the bills and you know what I mean, she got money to play with, and she really ain't gotta really worry about too much besides you know what I mean? Like, for the most part, most women, you know, that's why they stressed out now. You know, they, because they, they fell a victim to the philosophy of this white man. This white man told you, oh, yeah, you could be independent and yada, 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 and all this old goofy shit. And then you got a woman that'll go her whole life and go and, you know, put all this energy into Esau's system and then have all the money and have the nice house and have all that shit and be miserable as fuck. Because she ain't got that man. And then you can't tell her what her problem is because in her mind, it ain't a man on her level. But it'll never be a man on her fucking level. You get what I'm saying? Because in her mind, because of what she accomplished in this Edomite system, oh, she just the shit. You get what I'm saying? It's a reversal. I mean, it tells you in the book of Isaiah about how um, Esau has turned things upside down. Everything upside down. That's why he's telling you a man, he could be a woman, and a woman, he could be a, she could be a man. Salaki though, like this, I don't know why the spirit did this like this, but anyhow, I got to work on that to a certain extent because I want to be straight to the point. We know Jake doesn't, um, has a short attention span. You know, Jake literally comes and watches the videos for entertainment. They not listening to nothing. You got people still, the last time we was out there, people was like, so why are y'all out here? Now, mind you, this is when around the time when they call themselves locking shit down and everything. So we were like, why are you that? We looking like, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what we say this. So that's literally shows me that like that's a spiritual block. Cause do one dumb. You got you can't be just completely stupid to make it to be 30, 40 years old. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm 40 years old. I know what I've been through in my life and what was set in before me and all that. So, you know, for a stupid person, yeah, Lord be with fools, but for the most part, you gotta, especially growing up in a ghetto and poverty and shit like that, you gotta think a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck out of here. You got to know what shit. It's 12 niggas right there. Let me go ahead and not walk down <laughs> the mouth of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's certain things that these Edomites and these heathens that's in a more comfortable situation, they don't even have to worry about. They'll be lightweight knowing it if it's just you and another Jake. Because they don't see the same shit that you see. So, I mean, like, Apostle Hart made some comments, and I agree with him wholeheartedly, but also... You know, like he said, I'm going to just say it like this. He said that Jake can be aggressive when they want to. And you're going to see that. When Jake got to feed his family and all that shit, oh, Jake going to... That's what, like he said, it was the spirit. Because I was wondering, when Bill um, Bill Clinton got out of um, politics, he retired to a brownstone in Harlem. And I was like, damn, that's like we're slapping the face. You know what I mean? Fuck playing a saxophone and smoking weed and all that old shit. And, you know... Whatever the else you well, they said that he's supposed to got a black son. Well, it's not black though. I mean, Bill Clinton is an Edomite, you know what I'm saying? But they said that he's supposed to have a child with a black woman. And I looked it up, and you know, it's like an illegitimate illegitimate child. Like he's supposed to have sex with some lady. Long story short, though, that's still all the slaps in the face. It's like this bitch that I know. She sit up there. She say, "Everybody knows I'm not racist because I have a black grandson." That does not mean you're not racist. That show you how stupid you is to say that shit out loud. You get what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? People that literally, you had Edomites that was up there fucking they slaves, having kids with them, and then taking the kid and serving it as alligator bait. 
the fuck is you talking about? Not realizing, dumbass nigga, you just killed your kid. Because you you are what your father is. So it, it wasn't like, you know, that was a black man. Like, and like I said, people could have trouble trying to figure that shit out. Especially so-called nigga women. Or so-called black women. You know what I mean? They, they can't get it for the likelihood of it. Because they want to be, you know what I mean? They, they, like, the seed is of the man. You know what I mean? Like... That, I mean, and a lot of people understand that they'll show you that in ancient movies and shit, you know what I mean? Like, literally. That's why, literally, that's why, literally, that you will have, when they used to conquer lands, like, okay, like with Sparta, not Sparta, with um Troy. If you ever seen that movie Troy with, with, with Brad Pitt, they took the last scene out. They took it out, but if you watch the director's cut, it's in there. When they conquered Troy, Literally, when they got into the, the gates of it, through the Trojan horse and all that shit, they literally, when they was killing people, they was raping women right then and there. You get what I'm saying? Because usually, when you conquer the land, it was spoils and booty. And that was one nation would take and kill all the men of fighting age and impregnate their women. That's how you... I mean, like, that's why you got in southern Italy, that's why you got... Them Sicilians that literally are supposed to be Italian, but they don't literally look like Italians. They got the dark skin and the dark hair because of Hannibal Barker. You know what I mean? Like, he literally, when they conquered that, they literally fucked all the women to, <laughs> to it was no more. Because they was blind, blue-eyed people. And that's history. And that's proving my fucking point. So, but, uh, Salaki, so I ain't mean to... Um, Digress. It says so that, like I say, when when they take the spoils, because that that's what's gonna happen in that day. People are gonna be getting raped. They're gonna be taking your food because it's gonna be a lack of, of bread. Like I said, right now they're training you. They didn't told you to motherfucking literally. You know, you can go to the store, but like I said, you got people that's going to the store with you, and like these stores only have so much food for a certain amount of days anyway. Then, like I said, I know a brother. He worked at the ports. He was like, shit. When that China shit happened, you know, he said, we stopped getting a lot of fucking um, shipments. So it's probably a lack of bread. It's probably a lightweight famine already. Then what people fail to realize is with the farms, the farms had a lot of problems. You had a lot of food got destroyed because of floods and shit like that. Like, you people going to wake up and be like, damn. So like you, though. Um, so let me bring out this article. Did I, I got one Cause I, I didn't mean this to go that long. I'm going to break out the article and then I'm going to end it with this one scripture. Because this is like an hour long. This is um, an RT News report. It says up to 200,000 deaths. Trump's virus chief falsely to predicts millions of COVID-19 cases in U.S. Which is probably more so like probably the reality of the situation. Me, myself, I think a lot of people got it already. I think it's something. I don't think it was just some one thing. Spray, I mean, I think it was something spray in the air. You know what I mean? Like, in my opinion, like, I believe it's it's truth to it's real, but I don't believe it's to the point of what they're, like, trying to, like, you know what I mean? Like, how they pushing it. You get what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. Like, the way hospitals set up. See, people, like, I was listening to this dumbass Jake. He up there like, well, shit, they saying people dying in New York and they got a thing and people just dying. But you got to look at it like this. Hospitals ain't set up to, to deal with no situation where all these people sick with this shit. So, yeah, I can see it be a lightweight little, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the first time in history something like this. I mean, well, no, that's not true. Because you had, like, shit like the Spanish flu and, the, and, and, um, and um, what was that shit called? The bubonic plague and shit like that. You know, you've had plagues and pestilences before. The just, the just, I'm talking about like a modern day era where you got people just, you know, so if you only got, because what people don't realize, it's not like a like hundred doctors on staff, or depending on how big the hospital is. They on call. You get what I'm saying? So you might only have so many doctors. Majority of them people is nurses and like other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they not, you know, the people that's really got the knowledge is not like a whole bunch of them. That's why they, they was telling you in Italy they was calling Doctors and nurses out of retirement. You know what I'm saying? It says President Trump's COVID-19 advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, has issued a dire prediction. Millions of, millions of cases and 100 to 200,000 deaths in the U.S. More than 2,200 people have already died of the deadly disease in the U.S. 
Speaking on CNN's State of the Union on Sunday, Fauci said that trying to predict the spread of the virus is akin to chasing a moving target. However, the nation, Salakia, however, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases director claimed that between 100,000 and 200,000 deaths may be coming. We have a serious problem in New York. We have a serious problem in New Orleans. And I just found that out. I didn't even know New Orleans was getting um, plagued with it like that, you know. I, but that's why they, I guess they're saying that Florida is going to set up checkpoints to keep people from Louisiana um, trying to sneak. Because they're saying people are trying to sneak over. And you're going to have some of that because they had the one woman that's supposed to have been on um, lockdown and she basically ran. So it's going to be a, like at the end of the day, see what you don't, you, you don't get is certain crises allow them to uh, affect change in law and shit like that. Like right now, is this is kind of unprecedented. You, this is basically against your supposed to be constitutional rights. But right now, if you knew anything, you know that because we're under state of emergency, you don't have constitutional rights. <laughs> you know, while they sitting up there playing, what you thinking that it's gonna be an election or they're gonna postpone the election? And I almost said something to somebody about it, but I'm like, you know what? Let that nigga have it. He think because you can't tell certain people shit. But it don't matter or not if he postpone the state. Oh, the the elections. When he declared a state of emergency, it's like that is null and void because he's like 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 the president. Like all oh, that shit, none and void. He like the. And somebody told me this was gonna happen too. So if we don't never come out of the state of emergency, he's like just the last president. So while you talking about people got these stupid ass theories, I'm hearing people talking about, yeah, he did all this so he can get reelected, and you know what I mean. I'm listening like. <laughs> He don't have to do shit now. He the fucking it's a state of emergency. You like so that's why they're allowed to go door to door. Yeah, go read a book sometime. We have a serious problem in New York. New York. We have a serious problem in New Orleans, and we're going to be developing serious problems in other in other areas. Fossey said. Fossey cautioned that the true toll of the COVID nineteen outbreak in the U.S. will sit somewhere between the best case and the worst case predictions. Currently doing the rounds. So, however, he did not say what scenario his own prediction fell under. Uh, I'm going to read that part. It says, um, Fauci has publicly disagreed with President Trump, Donald Trump on, his, on how best to respond to the coronavirus crisis as Trump mauled imposing a strict quarantine on hotspots. Now, mind you, to show you how full of shit is like they playing mind games, it says, as Trump mauled imposing a strict, or maybe saying he shouldn't have a strict lockdown. I don't know what that word mule did, and I'm not about to go look it up. But I know Trump was talking about opening the government like by next month sometime, by Easter, I think. I mean, not the government, but, he, well, yeah, because there's a lot of shit that shut down. Like, this is unprecedented. You've never had, I called the, the BMV, and they literally, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? And they like, uh, there's nothing you can do. You know what I mean? But. Like, it's just like, you would think they would suspend everything, but that's not the reality of the situation. Like, he telling you that landlords ain't supposed to be able to evict you for not paying your rent right now. But you really think all landlords is going to adhere to that shit? Like, the fuck? Are you serious? Because you got to remember, some landlords got to pay their fucking bills. These loans that they own these properties on and shit like that. So, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. It says, uh, Fauci has publicly disagreed with President Donald Trump on how to respond to the coronavirus crisis. He said, hotspots like New York and New Jersey falsely warned that doing so would create a bigger difficulty in enforcement. He told CNN on Sunday that Trump decided not to issue the quarantine order after intensive discussions in the White House on Saturday night. So I'm assuming he's saying that he's going to try and do a strict lockdown, but now he changed his mind. And that's what he's been playing at the whole time. You know what I mean? Like I said, as if like... Like I said, that's why you know it's a lot of misinformation. You know what I mean? Like I like I, I remember reading somebody was talking about the, the the governor of Florida was not taking it seriously. I guess that's what they was talking about with the whole Miami Beach thing. But did I literally seen videos where they was beating motherfuckers up on the beach, telling them they couldn't go out there and do that. And like I said, Florida actually has a checkpoint out there. So it says you New York City falsely said accounts for fifty six percent of the country's new infections. While hundreds of thousands of deaths is a dire prediction and stands at odds with President Trump's optimistic tone during press briefings, Fauci has made even starker predictions before. Earlier this month, and with New York State only reporting 700 cases of the virus, 
Plus, he appeared on CNN to warn that it's possible that millions of Americans could die. Lord willing, call her law. Lord, you how about shit, y'all? What's up? I mean, Lord willing, billions of motherfuckers gonna die because they, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's showing you the, the hand of the most high. You know what I mean? People don't even understand what this Bible is about. This Bible is not the book that you, when they talk about the good news. It's not good news for everybody. It's good news for the children of Israel. It tells you in the Bible that it's a book of mourning, lamentation, and woe. Go look up each word. Woe means destruction. Mourning, lamentations, and woe. That's literally in the Bible. And that's what this book is consists of. Yeah, it's good news, but it's not good news to everybody. Well, people don't understand. The Bible is not for everybody because it's not the 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 the, the law, statutes, commandments, and, and, and um, what's the word like the traditions of every people. It was a, the traditions of one group of people. And when you go into history enough, you'll find out. That's why people truly wholeheartedly believe that we are the people of the Bible because we fit the curses. And then when we've done our research through. The power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, him leading us two different things. You'll find out that certain people was keeping the customs, you know, even when they wouldn't call themselves Israelites. You know, did you know that the Native Americans was calling themselves? That's why if you ever watch Avatar or the name that they called the Most High, it sound like the name that we say, Yahweh. <laughs> they say Yahweh. Like if you ever watched Avatar with the big blue thing, they was talking about Yahweh. But Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? And, and Yahweh means he exists. He is everything, you know what I mean? And when you watch that movie, like, she, they kept on trying to throw you off because she, she kept on saying she is everything, you know what I mean? But literally, like, that's why, like I said, when you go to certain gad reservations, they find a lot of Israelite, um, um, what's the word, um, like, not memorabilia, because that is not the correct word, but relics. They found a lot of Israelite relics. You know what I mean? Do you know some of the oldest Hebrew was on, like, old Native American land? Old Gad land? Right in Ohio. What do you? What is Ohio? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, Ohio's an Indian word. <sighs> well, hundreds of thousands of deaths is dire prediction. Um, so like it. it says more than 124,000 cases of COVID-19 have been recorded in the U.S. to date. Worldwide, the virus has affected nearly 700,000 people, killing 32,000 people. But at the end of the day, you know, you can't trust the media on the numbers. What I'm going to say is this. At the end of the day, though, what they're not telling you, that's why I say the media is pumping this up. They're not telling you that it's people that's infected or they recover from the infection. It's like the, I'm not going to call it the flu because it's not like the flu, you know, because it's attacking your lungs. That's why I think it's weaponized. You know what I mean? Because if you go find out anything, like like I say, or if you go research anything, like I said, the flu attacks your body, certain things. But, you know, this this disease, it looks like the flu, but it attacks your lungs. So, you know, at the end of the day, though, but people recover from this. And that's the part that the news is not telling. But nonetheless, this is a pestilence. And, you know, it tells you in scripture that pestilence was going to destroy the people. Not just the heathens, but also, um, also, uh, you know, um, the Lord's people. Because you got two thirds of Israel that's going to be destroyed. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it with this scripture, in the Book of Jeremiah, twenty-one, verse um, six. This is Jeremiah chapter twenty-one. I'm going to start at verse five. And, uh, I'm going to start with verse 5. And I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm, even in anger and in fury and in great wrath. Verse 6. And I will smite the inhabitants of this city. And when I say this city, not just the city of Cleveland or, you know, this city is this land mass, this, this place, you know what I'm saying? This Babylon, you know what I mean? He's going to smite this place. Both man and beast, they shall die of a great pestilence. Verse 7 and afterwards, well, that's the point. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. Call Allah, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, 
And Rachak, that's for Gatham. Double honest to the apostles and elders of great millstone taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the occupant around the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking the lives of the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwati, the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, was an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, the land of the other nations, looking like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. The USA, Shalom Wam. Until next time, Lord willing, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam, and a Bible ball.